Okay, so the wedding is tomorrow. You got this. There's food, there's family, there's friends, flowers. Do I have enough Rose of Sharon? Did I clear the donkeys away from the wedding site? Is someone singing time after time or am I like 2,000 years too early? Good evening, Saul. Happy wedding. Happy wedding? Patience, I don't know how any of this stuff is going to get done. Why did I think I could even be a wedding planner? Okay, inhale, exhale. Come on, breathe in and breathe out. There you go. If you slow things down, you'll have plenty of time and energy to get things done. Show yourself some grace and don't worry, I'm here to help. For goodness sakes all, I could hear you hyperventilating from the marketplace. This wedding will be amazing because you put your whole heart into it. Thanks, kindness. Did someone say major event with multiple complex tasks that have to be pulled off at the same time without a hitch? This is so my wheelhouse, Saul. Yeah, never plan an event without diligence. Look how giddy she is to get to work. I thought there might be more to do, so I, I made these little baggies of candy. I sent messengers to all the guests to double check that they could still come, and I talked to everyone in the family to make sure that they were as happy as they could possibly be. My word, that's, that's amazing. And we went around to all the poorer family and friends to make sure that they could afford to come join the celebration and bring their own presents. Charity, hush, we weren't going to tell anybody we did that, remember? Well, humility, sometimes being generous means celebrating doing good things. Everyone should be happy today. I... I'm so glad you all came early to help, but, but wait, aren't there supposed to be 10 bridesmaids? Oh, I guess everyone's starting without me. That's fine. I see how you're all buddy buddy with one another, but no one ever remembers envy. Oh, that's not true. We're really excited to see you, right girls? I see how happy you are with your nice clothes and your fancy bags of candy. You don't have to rub it in, you know. Excuse me, Saul. Yes, Creed? Were you not going to feed us? Do you not owe us nice cushions to lie down on and servants to tend to us and custom-made monogrammed gold-stitched hankies that broadcast our greatness to all the world. Don't you know that children are starving in, in everywhere? Did I hear monogrammed? I can do that. I, I, I brought a needle and thread just in case. I don't have gold thread, but, but I could use some turmeric to dye the thread I have to make it look golden. Diligence, I don't think you need to do that. Just keep working on what you're working on. Do you want to help? Sure. There you go. Thanks. Hey, jerkwads. I don't even know why we showed up, Russ. We are obviously too important to be seen with, oh, you know, these kind of people. Pride? That's an awful thing to say. Oh, I'm absolutely certain that it is not because I know everything. And who are you? Some first-time wedding planner? Give me a break. Okay, Pride, calm down. You know it is autumn, so you might just have somewhere to go soon. <laughs> really? Nothing? Because you know, pride goeth before the... Never mind. We're almost all here, and we can go to the final preparation before the bridegroom arrives. We need to make sure that we're all ready to go. Watches synchronized. Knock it off, Rath. That wasn't very nice. Well, you know, wouldn't you, Miss Kindness? No, no. No one would know better than I. 
And I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so I guess you're best friends now. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Let's get things back on track. But I'm bored. Someone entertain me. Think fast. But I'm bored too. Maybe we should find something to do together so that, you know, Wrath stops messing with me. I know, let's do the wave. That was fun. What a great idea, Humility. Oh, it was nothing. Thank you. Don't you all know that I've got better things to do than just wait around here with you people? Who are we waiting for anyway? You mean besides the bridegroom? You know, whose wedding it is? Well, let me think. <sighs> it's Sloth, of course. She is always late. I hate when people do that. It boils my blood and ducks my sauce. Oh, yeah. I am not <sighs> a big fan of sloth. Hey, uh, so which Zoom meeting is this again? The one about the zone ordinances? Solomon Ben Jonah. What is the meaning of this? I cannot be seen with such a creature. Get her out of here at once. Oh, but she's really cute and friendly. She brings good luck, so I don't have to try as hard. Mm. Mm. I wasn't talking about the giraffe. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing pajama pants? I didn't know we could wear pajama pants. My outfit is so itchy. Please, everyone, we just have to go as is. Now, did everyone bring their lamps? Check, check, check. check. And did everyone bring oil for their lamps? I stayed up all night pressing fresh oil just for this occasion. Check. I helped deliver my next door neighbor's baby, and she gave me this oil as a thank you. Check. I spent the last year studying the mechanics of the oil press, and I developed an innovation that will make oil faster and cheaper for everyone. Check. I remembered to get my oil when I was sharing with the widows and orphans like I do every week. Check. I brought oil with me, but, well, I don't need to tell you why. Wonderful. This is going great so far. Well, of course they have oil. They're so lucky, and everyone gives them nice things. No one even cares if I don't have any oil. Well, I had enough oil to feed an army, but I made latkes, and then I lathered my bunions, and I treated my lather, and then I threw it up in the air and watched it rain down because it was all golden and sparkly. Well, I was having a fight with my next door neighbor one night while they were sleeping. I poured my oil into their garden and I lit it on fire. Oh geez, what were you fighting about? They said my cornbread tasted better last week. So you lit their garden on fire? And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Well, I would have brought some oil, but I just assumed that one of you little people would have done it for me. I mean, really, I've got better things to do with my time. So we were supposed to bring oil? For what? Uh, for what? For the lamps. For meeting the bi bridegroom to get into the wedding hall and start the celebration. Well, uh, that sounds like a lot of steps. Well, if we haven't heard from the bridegroom by now, we may as well rest until he gets here. You're a champion napper, Sloth. Let's follow your lead. Really? 
really and truly. Okay. First, you get a stuffed animal. Mm. Mm. Then you make a big yawn. Mm. Oh, even if you're not sleepy. Then you snuggle up with your stuff. And you fall right asleep. Everybody likes sloth. Better than me. And all the cakes and the coins and the candies will be mine. So God says, get me to the church on time. That sounds like David. That sounds like David. Listen, my children, you shall hear of the midnight arrival. He's here. He's here. It's not one if by land. It's two if by sea. He's bound for us now. Wake up and you'll see. Our hard work and waiting has paid off. Huzzah! Let's greet him with light and with presents. Hurrah! With lamps that are burning, we'll see him afar. From all of our planning, we'll have a hoopla. <laughs> and fill this cold night with some warmth and some awe. Now, when did they put that all together? What are they? Telepathic? You losers. Give us some of your oil. We can't see in the dark. Yeah. I'm afraid of the dark. I'm pretty sure a bear could eat me without waking up. I'm afraid we can't do that. <laughs> what do you mean you can't do that? You have it? We want it? We deserve it? You owe us. But there's not enough for all of us. You are always going on and on about how we're supposed to be kind and charitable. And now you will help us out? We are bridesmaids as much as you are, you know? You all knew that this wedding was coming and I told you to prepare. Some of you wasted your oil and some of you saved it. We help each other out as we can, but at the end of the day, no one can show up for you. But I want to get in. I want to see the bridegroom and eat that tasty, tasty feast and dance and laugh at other people's outfits. Maybe there is still time. Maybe you could rush to the market, buy some oil and come back. No one is keeping me out of where I belong. Come on, folks. <sighs> I'm here. David, it is so good to see you. We never gave up faith that you would come. We did everything we could to live in love and make you proud of your wedding day. Good and faithful servants, the marriage feast is upon us. Bring your lamps and let us celebrate the joy of life together. The door is open to all who are ready. Eat, drink, and be merry. Okay, Lord, let us in now. Yeah, we want to party to the cows, come home and make new cow friends and have a cow mitzvah. Open up! Open up! You owe us for making us run to the store at midnight! What was that? You want to come in? Are you kidding me? I wasted my whole night trying to make you happy. How dare you not open their gates? Trying to make me happy? You didn't listen to me. You weren't ready to share my joy. But I'm not like them. I didn't do anything. You're right. You didn't do anything. Listen, all of you, you can't trick your way into being ready. 
You can't live mean and selfish lives and expect that it doesn't matter. You've gotten so lost that you don't even know how to love and celebrate anymore. Why would I want people who don't know what love is at my wedding? You stopped listening to me long ago, so you don't know me. I believed in who you could be, but that's not who you became. Is it too late, then? As long as I live, you can stop and listen to my voice. No matter how many times you fall down, you can trust that I will help you stand back up. You can try again and repent and try again. I did not send you into the world to fix everything or to live perfect lives. But where you can, open your heart to love and grace. Where you can, help something breathe again, set something free, show it beauty and care. When you live in love, you abide in me and I in you. I am with you even to the end of the age. So keep awake. Trust and believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. Amen. 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 Saul, played by Andrew Black from Terre Haute, Indiana. Patience, played by Katie Steer from Davenport, Iowa. Kindness, Jessica Dixon from New Jersey. Diligence, played by Chrissy Westbury from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Charity, played by Kate Hogue from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Humility, played by Carol Ferris Schilling from Bluffton, Ohio. Christy Ray from Melbourne, Florida, playing the role of Envy. Greed, Reverend Susie Carter Wiggins, Memphis, Tennessee. Reverend Rachel Helgeson, Endwell, New York. Pride, played by Liz Valle from Chicago, Illinois. Lucas Levy Keppel recording David. Uh, this is Sloth, played by Jessa Henry from Louisville, Kentucky. 